Is it child abuse to overfeed your children? Or is the problem more about what you're feeding them? All right, we've got some people here who disagree. They're going to agree to disagree. We're going to have a uh, healthy debate. Uh, I'm going to start with Sandy Schaefer, New York chapter of the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance. Why do I think you might disagree with this idea of taking kids away? You're going from looking at a child that's fat and assuming they're unhealthy and going straight to taking them away from their parents and putting them in a system that's already overcrowded and overworked. And these children may come from loving, happy family and may or may not be healthy. You don't know. And the other thing is, if you want to look at behavioral changes and make behavioral changes that are good for all children, then that's a way to go. But once you make it weight based, you look, it's look like weight profiling and how, how heavy is too heavy. You're going to panic parents. You're going to panic children. They have they destroyed their families and even the children that they're put with. You're going to panic them because if they don't right. lose weight. So there's nothing good that can come out of this except traumatizing and demonizing children. Well, uh, uh, let me tell you that there are many things that happen to kids that are awful as a result of being obese. They develop type 2 diabetes quite often. They develop high blood pressure. They develop high cholesterol. They develop breathing problems. They develop liver problems. They can develop sleep apnea. And of course, perhaps the most uh, serious aspect is the psychological and self-esteem issues that they can develop. Now, Dr. Neil Barnard, you were the author of 21 Day Weight Loss Kickstart. You are a health advocate and you've been so for years. Um, what we need to do something about this obesity crisis. It is getting worse. And I disagree respectfully with Sandy Schaefer. I don't see it as a lifestyle choice. I feel that uh, feeding a child till the child becomes obese is akin to giving the child alcohol or drugs. Dr. Neil Barnard. Taking the child away from the home is really something that's res reserved only for the most extreme cases, but there are cases where that occurs. And there are really two criteria. The first criterion is the child has to be massively overweight to the point of very serious health problems. I'm talking about the 12 year old child who's developed type 2 diabetes, and you're thinking about gastric bypass surgery. You're in a very dangerous situation. And the second criterion is that the parents, either through drugs, alcohol, or chaos in the home, are not able to get the situation in a better, in, in a, on a better path. There was a case in South right. Carolina. Uh, I want, no, go, go ahead. ahead. I, I want to show some of these kids, because there, there are some very, 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 I would say, sad cases. Um, uh, check out this young man. He's, uh, he's obese. He's uh, 14, apparently, and 400 pounds. Uh, listen to this. Because of his weight, he has gained diabetes and he has a high blood pressure. These people are going to come to my house and take my child and sign me over as unfit. I don't know how you feel about that, but I, I do think very highly of that. It's not right. All right, so obviously the mother is obese and the son is obese. He's 14 and 400 pounds.